Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're getting to take a look at what I believe is the best value in Trek's road bike series, the Domani. In this video, we're looking at the 2022 Trek Domani AL5. This is a 11 speed 105 equipped bike with an aluminum frame, wide tire capacity, and a nice comfortable endurance geometry. So in this video, we're gonna go into the features and designs about this bike, talk about what it's all about, and what you get for just a tick above $2,000. So let's go ahead and check it out. So to begin the discussion about the Trek Domani, we should talk about the series, where this falls into it, and why I think this is a pretty awesome rig for the money. So the Trek Domani series is the upright, more comfortable version of a road bike from Trek, and therefore it falls into the endurance category. However, Trek mixes in a few different things to make the endurance bike even a little more capable. Now in that lineup, they're gonna come in carbon fiber or aluminum variants, and like this bike here, this is an aluminum frame. So this being the Alpha 100 series aluminum, means that it's gonna have shaped and butted tubing. It's going to come disc brake ready, although they make a less expensive variant, the AL2, which comes in a rim brake, but all of the versions above the AL2 that are aluminum are gonna be disc brake. Now, the number that comes with it is also important. The number is the spec level of the bike. So a AL5 like this is coming with Shimano 105 componentry, so mid-level part spec. And then after this bike, begins the SL series. So SL bikes are carbon fiber using their 500 series OCLV carbon fiber. And then they have their SLR series, which is the top end race bike variants of the Domani. Now where this one comes in is this is basically the best part spec you can get on an aluminum bike. So you're saving a little bit of money with the aluminum frame, getting really nice parts on it, but still lots of capability. Now on the Domani series, you'll see that it's going to come factory with 32 millimeter tires, but it has room up to 35 millimeter tires without fenders or 32 with fenders, which means this can almost go into that light gravel category. So when we're thinking endurance bikes, that means that it's going to have a pretty comfortable stack and reach with this bike and a 56 centimeter coming in at 591 millimeters of stack and 377 millimeters of reach. To give you an idea, that's considerably taller and shorter than what you'd get on their Amanda series, which is kind of the performance lightweight climber. So a nice comfortable position, the ability to run wider tires and do more adventure rides. And I just think that right at about $2,100, at least as of May, 2022, this bike gives an incredible amount of performance and usability for the price point that it comes in at. Now diving further into that 100 series alpha aluminum, let's talk about some of the features and specs that comes on the bike. I'm going to first start off with the front end, which has an integrated headset going down through a tapered steerer to this OCLV carbon fiber fork. So this will be a carbon fork on the front end. It does have spots for fenders to be able to add it to it. And it comes through axle 12 by 100 up front, which means a nice stiff and reliable connection to the wheel. And then you'll see on the frame, we've got a few things going on. First, a real chunky down tube with internal cable routing. This down tube should help stiffen up the front end, but the top tube has a little bit of a bend to it. So you see how it's curved? Supposedly that's gonna help with some of the vibration absorption and these do ride pretty well, so I suspect it works. And then going to the back is a 27.2 seat post diameter and that goes down to a threaded bottom bracket. Now the threaded bottom bracket means nice and reliable setup, easy to service. You have a spot to be able to add a duo trap sensor for speed and cadence. A little Bluetooth sensor can go in there. And then the cable routing is external towards the back where you also have a through axle 12 by 142 millimeter in back. And even better, you have a spot for fender and then rack mounts. So this has dedicated rack mounts allowing you to put some gear out onto the back being able to extend the capability of what you'd use it for. And in fact, they even run a bento box mount on the top tube. Love to see that because you can get a bag up top, bags or a rack on the back, fenders mounted up to it. And then of course, down tube and seat tube water bottle mounts with two water bottle mounts coming in right in front of the bottom bracket. So on this rig, you could run up to three bottles, a bento box and that rack system out back for nice long days in the saddle. We did talk about tire clearance, but to reiterate, it's 
35 millimeters of clearance without fenders, 32 if you get them mounted up. And that's because the fender is going to take up a bit of the space. But if you're using this just as an adventure bike, 35 millimeters, for instance, is going to be a good amount of tire clearance for somebody who wants the bike to be able to do maybe 20 or 30 percent of their ride off pavement, whereas the remaining 70 to 80 percent of your ride might be on pavement and having those little bit thicker tires like what comes on it is just going to aid in the comfort. Moving into the parts spec, we did say this is the AL5, which means we've got Shimano's 105 componentry. So Shimano 105 is direct in the middle of the road bike lineup. It comes just above Tiagra, which is a 10-speed group set, and just below Altegra, which is their first of kind of the high-end componentry. So here, things that are going to be set up will be the shifters are going to have shift and brake mechanism all integrated into one. So inside button brings you to harder gear. Whole lever over is an easier gear. And then, of course, when you pull back, that's going to be braking two-piston hydraulic brakes on the front and the rear around 160 millimeter rotors. And those shifters are going to operate cables to a Shimano R7000 rear derailleur. This is a very nice shifting, smooth shifting shadow derailleur from Shimano. It operates across an 11 to 34 tooth cassette range, and that chain powers forward to your Shimano R7000 105 crankset with a 50-34 chain ring combination. So that means there's two speeds up front, a low and a big, and by having a 50-34, the 34, which is your easiest gear up front, matches up with the 34 easiest out back for a one-to-one -one gear ratio for pretty solid climbing performance. Now all that gearing is then going to push these Bontrager wheels. It's a 21 millimeter internal width alloy double walled wheel. The Paradigm rim runs Presta valves and mounted up on those wheels is the Bontrager R1 tire. This is coming in a 700 by 32 millimeter width. It has their hard case light protection to it, so some decent flat protection. Now, these are going to be non-folding wire bead tires, and this is a place that I really think you could have a lot more performance added to the bike by putting on a nice set of foldable clincher tires here in the future. Now, that's a place where on this rig, an upgrade would make the bike both ride nicer, but also be a bit lighter as well. Well, in that vein, I think it's time to find out what it weighs. The actual weight of the Trek Domani AL5 in a size 58 is going to come in and weigh 23.38 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the 2022 Trek Domani AL5. I think this is a pretty killer bike for the value. However, I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. So go ahead and leave me a message down there letting me know what you think. While you're at it, be sure to hit subscribe and definitely browse the channel so you can see more videos like this to check out as well.